What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another video. This time I'm doing obviously a Q&A and I'm here. You guys can see me. This is like the first like complete IRL video I have on my channel that's not unlisted. I have like three unlisted videos, but um, yeah, let's get right into this Q&A. Uh, so the first question's coming from my buddy Corey. And he asked, how long have you been designing altogether and what fields have you covered? So I've been designing since like 2010 or 11, like late 2010, early 2011. Uh, I've done a little bit of like everything in like the community. Like I've done like motion design. Uh, I've tried like illustrations and all that. I like to stick to like the logo designing because that's actually pretty fun. I like drawing all the logos. Uh, and then obviously like banners and like social media design. Rage asks, are you attending a media design college? If not, which one would you want to go to? I am in college uh, at Penn College in Pennsylvania. Um, they have a really good web design uh, major, which is what I'm going for. It's technically interactive uh, web and media. And essentially it's like web design, learning about like app design. Um, <clears throat> and I, I also take like social media classes and stuff like that. Uh, Brayden asks, will you be doing a setup video anytime soon or a face reveal? This is a face reveal. Um, I actually do have a setup video coming out maybe next week. I don't know. It depends when I put this up. I'm not sure exactly. I have a bunch of videos planned out. Uh, do your teeth look like breadcrumbs? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, fuck, Mary kill. Barack Obama, Donald Trump, or Leela Sebesky? I actually have no idea who that is. I'm going to Google her. So I don't think I can say I can kill the president. That's probably somewhat really sketchy to say. Um, but I'll go, I'll marry the Leela chick because I obviously want to marry a girl. I'll, I'll bone Obama and kill Trump. Why not? Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, oh, I don't know. Well, obviously graduated college, probably working, living either <clears throat> in like the, f like still stay close to Philly or maybe like live in like the Carolinas or something. Uh, but like, I'm either gonna live close to Philly so I can go to all the Eagles games and Phillies games, Sixers games, all that union. Um, and then like watch when the big European soccer teams come and play in Philly, which is always like two games every summer. Uh, so I, I like wanna catch those. And then uh, if I'm not living in Philly and I'm away from my sports teams, I wanna go live somewhere warm. Mass asks, who's gonna be the new Eagles head coach? Uh, I have no idea. I know they interviewed the offensive coordinator for the Giants. They interviewed their own offensive coordinator, Pat uh, Sh uh, Sherm Shermer. Shermer. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, and then they interviewed some guy for the Cardinals, I think. Uh, but I have no idea. I just hope they don't get a college coach, that's for sure. When did you first start designing and why? <clears throat> I started designing like late 2010, early 2011. Uh, for a YouTube channel I created with my friends, we couldn't find anyone to like design for us. So I took it as my role to try. And eventually I liked it and kept going. All right, Kimbo says, Quasi! Useful trick, thanks. That was a comment on the tutorial. My question, what do you think about the design game and the designers in YouTube? Because I see a lot of inactivity. Two years ago, there was many contests and video speed arts. And it was like a very fun and competitive. I also see that many people quit the design game, like Robbie Reflect Vader, Artistics, Composited. What do you think about all these things? Uh, well, the design game has switched from like people designing like on YouTube, uploading speed arts and all that, trying to grow their YouTube channel to Twitter. Um, and I'm trying to keep a balance between both. Uh, but like, like uh, it's kind of lame seeing everyone not uploading because. I think one thing that really helped grow the community was the speed arts and the videos, like everyone would check them out. And it's always fun watching people create something really, really awesome. Like, you can see the final product and be like, wow, that's nice. But if you see the whole process through a speed art, you kind of appreciate it more. So I still upload a speed art like every two months I try with all the tutorials and things. Um, so a lot of people quit that. That's how the game has changed. And I think a lot of people are quitting because they're moving on to better things and design's not their field really. Uh, I only stick around because it kind of helps me and it's a fun thing to do in my free time. Uh, what inspired you to do graphics? Uh, well, I already mentioned why I got into it. What inspired, I guess this could be why I inspired to keep going with it. And I just found it fun and I liked creating things. And just the whole creation process like fascinates me. 
And I love going from like nothing to something like amazing and just stuff like that or transforming a scene. So it's like all interesting concepts in my mind. All right, Baz asks, do you think the graphic design community will get big enough to where designer YouTubers can make it their job? It's actually a really good question. Um, If it were to get to that point, it wouldn't be like, like YouTubers, obviously, there's a lot that make their living on YouTube. There wouldn't be anywhere close to that amount of designers. I think there would be like a handful of designers who design for those YouTubers and maybe other big companies that could possibly make it. I have no clue. Maybe. Okay, so this question's from December 2013 when I did a Q&A back then, but I actually never did the Q&A. So here's the answer to it. Uh, where did the name Quezzy originate? So back in the Xbox, day, Xbox, Xbox days, I had a friend. He was technically a IRL friend, but I had never met him at this point. Uh, he went to another school, and a friend from my school was friends with him because they used to go to school. So, oh god, my contact just went away. What was I saying? So, <laughs> we were friends on Xbox, and we we actually became really good friends on Xbox. We played a lot of COD and stuff. He was into trick shotting and stuff, and obviously I was uh, getting into that and designing for those kind of people. Um, he never did the YouTube scene, but he did watch it, and so he wanted to change his name to something OG because that was like the thing back in the day for trick shotters to have like an OG gamer tag if they weren't in a clan. He sent me a list of a bunch of the names that he might be changing his name to. And one of them was Quez, Q-E-H-Z. Um, I, I told him to pick that one and he eventually picked Colorfuls. So then like a few months later, I was thinking of a new name because I didn't like my name at the time. And I was just like, you know what? I like that other name. Let me try that. I put it in and it was taken. So I was like, if I throw in a Y, will that work? And I threw on the Y and that was available. So that became my new gamer tag and that became my new name. Did you go to a designing school? Uh, I just went to a normal high school and now I'm in like, it's technically a tech college. It's like Penn Tech, Pennsylvania College of Technology. We call it Penn College. It's like a very hands-on school. Do you ever plan on uh, joint a big team like Phased Air, etc.? I do a bunch of those like uh, recruitment challenges that they post, but that's really, I'm not really trying to join. I'm just trying to like... I never know who to design for when I'm making like a practice banner or something. And I don't like making it for myself because like I, every designer knows you can't really design for yourself. You, it never turns out well. Um, so I always like enter those jokingly. Well, not really jokingly. I guess I do answer them seriously, but um, it's really just a practice thing. I don't know. I'd probably join one of the big three, like Sword, Dare, or S Phase, Red, Sore, but I'd probably join Dare and obey because they just all have good designers that I'd want to be a part of and grow with. If you could choose between a piece on earth or live in a Pokemon world, what starter would you pick? <laughs> That's pretty good. Actually, there's never, I only played like five minutes of every new Pokemon. I didn't really play. Piplup. That was the one I always played as is in Diamond. The guy, it was like a penguin. It was so cool. It's probably not, probably the one of the worst ones to pick. I don't know. I'm not really knowledgeable on Pokemon anymore. All right, last question. What motivates you to uh, graphic design, graphics designs, and who inspired you to design? Uh, okay, yeah. I remember he made a bunch of typos in this one, and he sent another one, which was more uh, correct, but I screenshotted this one. But uh, Mello, what motivates me to design? Probably the feedback, the all the... Well, I have like 15,000 on YouTube right now, so like all those, like just seeing that number kind of inspires me. I like the Twitter following, and then whenever I post something, I usually get good feedback. Um, and it's just like fun creating stuff. Obviously, I always like lose motivation every couple of months, um, and like that's a good thing. When you just take a break and you come back, uh, I feel like every time I've come back from a break, I've been better, so it helps. But uh, what really motivates me is like the other people posting and the other designs I see uh, that just like make me want to design. Uh, who inspired me to design? Back when I first started designing, I watched a bunch of robots videos and his like channel is like i2obot. I used to watch a bunch of his stuff and I think I formed my channel around what I watched from him. Um, but yeah guys, that's the Q&A. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like um, and I'll see you guys next time.